Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is, how important is a business glossary when you're first starting out on a data governance initiative? I think this is a really good question because anybody that's followed any of my stuff knows that there are so many things that you could be doing in a data governance initiative. And I always advise simplicity. Don't try to do too many things at once. Um, I liken it to juggling. When I was first doing data governance, I felt like I was trying to learn to juggle and I was trying to get as many balls as possible up in the air. And I was running around like crazy to keep them all up in the air. And it wasn't going very well because I was trying to do too, too many things. And you know what we have to do is understand what do we have to focus on at any one time? And I thought this is such a good question because it really is important that you do focus on a business glossary at the very early stages of your data governance initiative. Because if you think about it, there's a, a hopefully lots of benefits that you're going to get from doing data governance. But you tend to do it for two main reasons. You want to understand what data you have in your organization and you need to understand the quality of it. Now, most people want to jump to the second part. Understanding the quality of the data is a much more exciting thing. It's something that people can get their heads around. So, you know, we don't want to do the boring stuff and documenting what, what, what data we have. But, you know, let me ask you a question. How do you know the quality of that data if you don't truly understand what that data is in the first place? So it really is important that we do this foundation piece of understanding what data we have and documenting that so that that understanding isn't in just one or two people's heads, that it's actually available. We know what data we have, where, what it can be used for. So I do really believe that at least starting your business glossary is really important to do very early on in your initiative. Now, we can't do that for all data. So I would tell you to go back and look at my previous um, video on critical data. So I would say don't try to boil the ocean. Don't try to do a business glossary on everything, but try building a business glossary on your most critical data. Because if a business user has confirmed to you that this data is absolutely critical for their organization, then it's very hard for them to then tell you that it's not important enough for them to actually write down what it means. So um, absolutely do embrace business glossary is a huge source of understanding on what data you have in your organization and a vital step into actually understanding and managing its quality. So please do start thinking about one early on in your initiative. And if you can think of any other questions you would like me to answer in one of these future videos, please just email them to questions at nicolaaskham.com.